What Swim Mac is is six parents in 1977 decided they want something better for their children, and they started a club. So we train our legs. David Marsh is both the CEO and the director of coaching at Swim Mac. In our program, and, and what we want a child to do is be able to come in, experience the sport, learn how to be water safe, learn how to uh, love the experience of the sport, use the sport to develop them as overall athletes, and at the same time be able to go for it in the highest performance level possible. Like Ryan Lochte, the owner of 11 Olympic medals, who's planning on claiming even more next year in Rio. So the head lead in the rotation center here. You're here breathing, turn the head. He's known as one of the best coaches in the world, so it was pretty much a no-brainer of coming here and trying to work on my other strokes, other speeds in my swimming uh, to help me out for Rio. Lochte is a member of Team Elite, Coach Marsh's vision for an exclusive group of athletes who train with the highest goals and expectations in mind. That's one of the biggest reasons why we have so much success is just this environment that David's created here. These are the best swimmers in the world and I'm training with them every day. You can't not get better being in an environment like that. As part of the SwimMAC program, Team Elite athletes are required to share their knowledge and experience with the younger swimmers. Awesome. The best way of learning is sometimes watching. And so one of the things that we do intentionally do is make sure that the older kids are with the younger kids. And at some level, they're watching them. They believe they can reach this level because they see their teammates do that. Want me to get her to show you butterfly? David is a very, very big advocate about having us kind of mentor a lot of the younger kids. So we see them at least once or twice a week. A lot of times they're kind of brought into our practices and um, they see how we train. And I think that that's only helped the program. You can do that. Big arm, stay close to the water, right? You don't want to come up really high. That takes too much energy. That, I think that kids, especially younger kids, get caught up in the, if, if they're not winning everything when they're 13 or 14 or, you know, even in high school, if they're not the best, then they don't really have a future in the sport. And I don't, I don't agree with that. And I think that if you're willing to work at it, you can kind of accomplish any goal you set your mind to. When you do really well, like, then what, right? Like, I swam really fast in prelims, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like, what if I can't do it again? Like, what if it's a fluke? So what I tell myself is, well, if you've done it once, obviously you can do it again, right? And so that's what I really like to share with the kids. I remember when I was their age, a little kid looking up to like those Olympians and being like, wow, I want to be like just like them. And I watch them every day in practice and take notes and be like, that's so cool that they're at the Olympics. So I know what they feel like. And for us to be a role model to them, I mean, it means everything. It's awesome. Swimmers need to see that next level. They need to know that they're part of a program that can get to the next level. There's a believability part of it that, hey, I could be the next Ryan Lochte. It also gives a pride that they're my teammates. I can cheer for them. They're good role models. One, two, three, yeah!